Hello there, and welcome back to Spacelab. This tutorial is all about the spatial EQ that is available in Spacelab Interstellar. This is a sophisticated tool that lets you shape the sound of your reverb in three-dimensional space. This video is part of a larger ongoing series about Spacelab and 3D audio production, so if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can stay up to date with the latest news, tips, and tricks. On the left side of the screen, there are sliders for each of the eight available directions. Six of these sliders are on the horizontal plane, plus top and bottom. To the right, there's a big all slider that adjusts all directions simultaneously. Notice that the all slider maintains the relative differences between the other sliders. To the right of the all slider, there is a bank of buttons that lets you select the frequency band that you'd like to adjust. If an individual band is selected, the all slider mirrors the equalizer slider in the section above with the corresponding frequency. If all bands is selected, then the bands are adjusted simultaneously while maintaining the relative differences between the bands for each directional slider. Also, when all bands is selected, the all slider works like a simple attenuator for all of the directional sliders. If overwrite is switched on and a single band is selected, the all slider will overwrite the values for all directional sliders for the selected band. If overwrite is switched on and the all bands button is selected, each directional slider will overwrite the values for that direction on all frequency bands. And finally, when overwrite is switched on, you'll see that the all slider will overwrite everything when it is moved. The reset button sets the values for all directional sliders as well as the frequency bands to 0 dB. When automating spatial EQ, you can always automate all of the directional sliders for one frequency band in an automation lane group. If you're not sure about how automation is handled in Spacelab, please have a look at our automation tutorial first before continuing here. There's a link in the description. Alt-clicking a frequency selection button creates the automation lane group for that band. The lane group contains eight lanes, one for each of the directional sliders. In the host, you'll see that the eight direction sliders for the frequency band are available for automation. Let's switch on latch mode. Start playback, and then make some changes in Spacelab to record those automation movements. Finally, let's play back what we just recorded to check if the automation was recorded properly. If you want to automate directions instead of frequency bands, you'll need to create nine lane groups, one for each band, and then use the directional slider in all mode to write automation to the host. Let's start by deleting the previously recorded automation data in the host. 
Let's delete the previously created lane group. Alt or Option click on the All button in the Spatial EQ tab. In the Automation tab we can see that all frequency bands have been added and automation lanes have been assigned to them. Let's go to the Spatial EQ tab and select All Frequencies. And now we can automate from Spacelab's interface using the directional sliders. And finally, let's check if the automation was recorded properly. If we switch through the different bands, we'll see that the changes affect all of them, which is what we want. And that's it for this video. We hope it's been helpful. Please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of any updates. Thanks for watching and happy mixing.